Endorsed by global football superstars Jose Mourinho and Cristiano Ronaldo, JDT is usually the first team on anyone's lips when there's talk of a notable club from Southeast Asia. Putting the club in the spotlight is all down to one man, or rather, one prince. Tunku Ishmael Idris Ibn Sultan Ibrahim, the Crown Prince of Johor, or TMJ. Before it was taken over by TMJ and rebranded in 2012, things were looking bleak in Johor football. Their home stadium, Stadium Tanshri Dato Haji Yunus, was derelict with only a few hundred attending matches. However, under TMJ's leadership, JDT has now rewritten the rulebook of standards and success on and off the pitch in Malaysian football. He overhauled the management structure, brought Johor FC and Johor FA under the JDT umbrella and improved the training infrastructure. Just 18 months after rebranding the club from Johor FC, JDT won the Malaysian Super League title, following that triumph with another a year later. They further went on to make history last year as the first club in Southeast Asia to win the AFC Cup. From empty stands and substandard football, now sell out crowds at the revamped Larkin Stadium are the norm with one of the fastest growing fan bases in Asia. Adding to the unforgettable match day atmosphere at their Larkin Stadium are the Johor Ultras, the boys of straights with their irrepressible repertoire of cheers. Despite all of the silverware and attention, the JDT project shows no sign of slowing down or complacency. Already the present training facilities and Larkin Stadium are the envy of many worldwide. A brand new stadium is on the way, located in the planned JDT Sports City. One day, JDT will stand shoulder to shoulder with the likes of Guangzhou Evergrande, John Book Hyundai Motors and Al Hilal. And one day, bringing home the ultimate prize and a place at the top table in Asia and world football.